This is a Paloma Press special report. What is AVID? I'm Hoku Nakasone. And I'm Severa Vakil. Maybe we've seen the logo in capital letters, A-V-I-D, and maybe heard of the program at Paloma or somewhere else. But do we really understand what AVID is or what it is for? Well, today we'll explore those questions and more. AVID stands for Advancement Via Individual Determination. The program is focused on getting 7th to 12th grade students prepared for college who might not have considered it before. Let's start with where and why AVID was created. Reporter Jaden Kelly tells us AVID began not far from Paloma, just down the I-15 freeway in San Diego. The AVID program goes way back to 1979. It was started by teacher Mary Catherine Swanson of Claremont High School in San Diego. Swanson had been a teacher for 14 years and realized there wasn't a difference in student abilities. The difference was in their experiences at home and school that prevented them from being ready for college. With this in mind, Swanson took the initiative to help capable but underachieving students from non-academic backgrounds take the tough college prep classes they needed. In the fall of 1980, 32 students were enrolled in the first ever AVID class. 30 of them stayed in the class longer, and 28 from that first AVID class enrolled in four-year universities. Swanson continued to grow AVID by establishing partnerships with colleges around San Diego and worked with other school districts to spread the AVID program. By 1996, AVID had expanded across California and by 2004 was operating in 30 states. For Paloma Press, I'm Jaden Kelly. Now back to you. With AVID being a nationwide education program, Paloma just didn't adopt a few classes. AVID was implemented across the entire campus. To help explain the scope of AVID here at Paloma, I spoke with a teacher who has a key role in our AVID program, Justin Marquis. In your own words, how would you describe the AVID program at Paloma Valley? So the AVID program at Paloma Valley is what we like to call a college pathway. It's a college prep elective where we encourage freshmen to join and it's a four-year elective course. In that course, we work on time management, study skills, uh, we provide tutoring, and then all the while teach kids about college, the opportunities that college provide, and then senior year we work with them on their college applications, their financial aid, help them apply, and then hopefully send them off to a four-year or a two-year college when they graduate. And what students benefit the most from the AVID program? So traditionally, the AVID student is someone who's in the middle, a student who may not have straight A's, uh, maybe they're a CB student and just need an extra push. But what we've found over the years, especially here at Paloma Valley, is that students of all types have enjoyed the course because they get to surround themselves with other students that have similar goals. So we find students with straight A's, students who need that extra motivation, and sometimes those students who need the extra motivation can get it from the students that are those straight A type students who are just there to be a part of uh, an atmosphere and a family of like-minded students. So what happens inside of an AVID classroom? That's a great question. Inside of an AVID classroom, we do a lot of study skills, we work a lot of time management. There's a big emphasis on organization, on note taking, on uh, keeping things organized with their binders. Uh, but the two biggest parts of the AVID elective include the tutorials, which we do twice a week, which is where students bring in questions from other classes. And we have college tutors that will work with them in a small group setting twice a week. Then on Fridays, a big part of the AVID elective is our binder checks. And that's where we check that students are taking notes in their other classes, uh, they're filling out their planner, and that they're keeping everything organized. So those are the two biggest parts of the AVID elective. And how would you say the AVID program grows with students from their freshmen to their senior years? So when we get them as freshmen, we focus primarily on skills that make students better students. That's what we're really looking to do freshman year. And then we start to sprinkle in the idea of college and what colleges are looking for. Then as we go, we start to wean off of the, the student part of it and start to really focus and lean into the idea of what colleges are looking for, how to strengthen your college application, write your personal insight questions for the UCs, and by senior year, the AVID class really is just a course that's designed to prep you for your college applications. We work on the applications in class. We work on financial aid applications, scholarship applications. So senior year really is just about the college going process. AVID follows a student for all four years at Paloma. Reporter Alessandra Pimentel took a look at this year's senior AVID class. This year, Paloma set a school record of 132 seniors in the AVID program. They've already been sending out their college applications and are waiting for more offers. 
Inside the AVID 12 third period class, seniors have moved past the preparation stage into the actual process of applying to colleges. AVID senior Jewel Jones says this program gave her the skills she needed to get into college that she wouldn't have had otherwise. So like freshman year we learned about like what you can do in high school and we like explored colleges and then obviously COVID happened so we just kept like exploring colleges and then last year we kind of got into more like okay so how are we going to apply and then this year we're doing um, obviously like applications and acceptances and like figuring out financial aid so it's been very helpful I think if I wasn't avid I probably wouldn't know as much as I do about going to college. One of the parts of AVID is teaching students what they need to be doing in high school for the best chance of getting into college. At the College and Career Center, counselor Jessica Rodriguez Figueroa says it's not difficult if students stay focused and on track. We all like colleges look for students who obviously they have to be in track A through G. Um, I also feel like they're looking for students who um, you know, are participating in activities, volunteering um, with the community. So I feel like they really want students who are just, you know, doing more than what they're supposed to do. They look for students who are always looking for new things, who are always challenging themselves in classes, students taking AP classes, um, dual classes. So I feel like colleges are looking for those students who are standing out from the crowd. For students who may be started off a little skeptical as a freshman, AVID is paying off. Senior Andres Berhan says he's been accepted to Cal State San Marcos and wants to study information systems for a cloud security career. At first, I thought it wasn't gonna be that important because um, People told me like I wouldn't get that much from it, but from my experiences and seeing like how much it's led me to like think how important college is, um, it really like changed my experience in high school. So far this year, well over 100 seniors in AVID have been accepted into colleges and will await for more. For Paloma Press, I'm Alessandra Pimentel. Back to you in the studio. Here on campus, AVID works across all four years of a student's high school experience. Reporter Myra Ayala gives us a look at the ninth grade program and the teacher who leads it. AVID exists to help students stay focused on getting to college, which all starts in here. Hi, my name is Mr. Viscara, and I am the AVID 9 teacher. Well, this is my first year teaching AVID here at Paloma. One of the things that I enjoy about AVID is obviously um, having uh, tutors here when they're helping students in, you know, seeing uh, students get being engaged, uh, participating in class, doing tutorials twice a week, getting all the help they need. Uh, tutors are here helping the students uh, basically being successful in these classes, uh, passing all their courses, uh, getting all the help they need, uh, getting them ready to go to college. Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm a freshman at Avid. My name is Brayden. I'm also a freshman at Avid. My favorite thing is that I feel more organized and school is becoming easier to me. I joined AVID to help me with my work and to stay more organized wow. overall. I look forward to TRF days because I get to work with my group. I would recommend all students or if it's possible, um, as many students as possible to take um, AVID. My son is going to be uh, actually a Wildcat next year. He goes to Menifee Valley right now and he's obviously going to be taking AVID. So I really believe in the program. I think, like I said before, uh, I think uh, it, AVID is a great program that can help students be successful in classes. They can learn about colleges. Um, they can learn, also learn about college applications and financial aid. Take, Take AVID. AVID. In addition to the classwork, AVID also takes students to college campuses around the state. For Paloma Press, I'm Mariala. Back to you in the studio. To get insight about a recent college trip, I spoke to junior Clarissa Ovale. Together, we were part of a group of AVID students who went on a four-day trip to colleges in Northern California. Okay, so why did you want to go on this trip? This trip was honestly an opportunity to experience college firsthand. And I've been to other college trips, but never to ones I've actually wanted to go to. Perfect. Okay, and then what were some qualities you were looking for at each school we visited? Some qualities were how diverse each school is, like with the community and everything, and how big and like small it is, because um, some colleges were talking about how there's very little like professor one-on-one -on -one time, and I was also looking into that. Yeah. Um, what was your highlight of the trip? My highlight was honestly spending time with all the other AVID students. So how did this trip help you narrow down your choices for college? This trip helped me by seeing how different each school is and how the environment is different and the classes and 
oh, I was also able to learn about how each, there's different majors in each school, and yeah. it was really amazing. Um, why should younger AVID students go on a college trip? Uh, younger students should be able to go on these trips because it opens them up to newer opportunities and like more colleges and how maybe their future will turn out. Um, is there anything important that you'd like to add that we didn't talk about already? How amazing the chaperones were. They are really oh gosh, amazing yeah. and they helped us through everything. Yeah, they were super nice. Like, I had a lot of fun with mm -hmm. all the teachers and the counselors that went on the trip. Yes. So I know that you got to go on an AVID trip yourself. How was that? It was really fun. I went on the Up North one that was a week long and it was just a good time spending time with friends, getting to know my other AVID peers and getting to learn about colleges. It was really awesome. Yeah, that sounds great. That wraps up this special report about AVID. We hope you've gained insights about what AVID does and why it exists. For more information about AVID, visit the AVID website listed below. Until next time, be safe, stay informed, and we'll see you soon on Paloma Press.